would not be surprised. Hello guy, welcome back to my channel. I'm here. I'm reaction about a match beast with a Ruben and Moogie. He's gonna sit back with his popcorn at I, I'm so I'm so I'm so obsessed about the Moosey uh, Moogie the last as GC and I, we are the last man he, he, he lost I hope to meet a uh, matchup between the Moogie Moogie and the Mohammed Sly and the, the last man but I'm oh, no, sorry I'll do here exactly the last man but very very well and Mohammed Sly did join Moogie birds out in both directions Birds out, okay, let's see a Mugi. Mugi he is seeing um, Electro Zion for uh, Electro Zion Golden Knight Lightning. And uh, how about the Rubens? Rubens. Bowling. Yeah, good choice. Good choice, bowling. Gotta we got a new. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Gosh, gosh. What's the gosh? Electro Zion here. Fist boy. Dead. Dum 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 but I lucky in the first game. Okay, I think the good luck. Good luck to Ruben after that game. Super aggressive EJ in the bridge, and Ruben just cannot hold on. Yeah, I mean it's it's so crazy when you look at how good of a player Ruben is and how quickly Moogie was able to look at that matchup like you called it on the only one shot. Just go, all right. I know exactly how I can make him hurt, and Ruben had. No answers. I mean, you could see him at the bottom of the screen, kind of shaking his head, just going, "What happened?" Really felt like he left himself hanging out to dry, and it's because of exactly what you mentioned, Juice. It's not an elixir pump, but it is four elixir on the board that you kind of forget about in the math of maybe setting up your attack or defense. And that brawler came through for some brutal damage, and also that fish boy pulling the E giant in, and now Ruben just stacking everything up on that right hand side. Nothing changed. Yeah, this is beautiful gameplay from Moogie at this point. He's just trying to hold on. And the fan breaks a couple of oh, seconds. No, yo, check that off the list. What is this? Double Ejai on the tower. He's going all in here. Just abusing this matchup to the fullest. Gold Knight Dash getting on the King Tower. And uh, <laughs> this is going to be absolutely. If we, we, we have a one, and, one minute more. I think what's really important here, Juicy, is three rounds of sewer. Camera. You see the big sigh, the, the fluff of the hair. Like. He's frustrated right now, and I, what I really like what Moogie did there is he did not take his foot off the gas, right? It, no one likes getting three crown, and Ruben just got dominated, like you said. He just ran that, he abused that matchup, and I think that does something to your confidence moving forward, especially because that game was won in the first 30 seconds. Yeah, that's a good point. Hmm, the boss. He was saying Miro, um, earthquake. Sorry, okay, Miro, much up, earthquake hawk. More Tyler here. Yeah. So I think that the most the deck, the most popular deck right now, the Hog Earthquake. Looks like a pretty similar variation. The band is mighty minor. Miro. Yeah, I mean that's a great way to look at it. We'll see. Right now, Ruben. Sixty percent Miro. Well, hi, Rico. No, Ruben's musketeer. You see the firecracker and the musketeer, and you know, I, I think at least in my opinion, the advantage goes to the the musketeer, but also those firecrackers are going to be difficult to get to. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on that, Juice? You know, that's a great question. I mean, the musketeer overall gets a lot of value in a hoggy junior matchup just because earthquake log can't kill it, whereas mm. earthquake log can kill a firecracker. But on the other hand, look at that firecracker. So much yeah. damage, getting Moogie a Massive damage lead already. Once more, there is kind of a double edged sword with the firecracker. At some point, Ruben will be able to get an easy king charge evasion, and that could help on the defense. But looking overall, I would say, you know, Moogie's in a great spot so far, just being up so much damage. Yeah, these mirror matchups with Hoggy Q can be really, really frustrating in the sense of going down early can be like that can be the whole entire game. But that being said, one hog connection can do so much damage to even things out. One thing like that, you see right there. Hog gets pushed to the side. Moogie's Musketeer. bomb tower does not pull it. Musketeer on the tower as well. Three shots in, and we got an ice spirit that needs to be dealt with. No, wow, lucky there. The bomb tower takes care of the mighty miner. 
and then the Ice Spirit just comes in for a little bit of chip, and that's, I mean, that's literally as I was saying it, one hog hit comes through, that was a lot more than one. Yeah, we need to replay that. I don't know what oh, damn. I think the Mighty Miner must have pushed the Hog Rider further to the edge damn, of the map to bypass. Damn, So, I think that we have... Huge place. We, still look up we, we have... have well. The game. You know, the last I game. Know. I'm trying to think of what Moogie has to... Or like, what Ruben has to do to come back in this situation. It's going to be very difficult. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I love how aggressive that was from Ruben just there. Does get a hog hit in, and then we got two firecrackers on the board. It felt like he didn't need to send that much down the left or the right hand lane after getting that big of a hit. Um, and just like that, Moogie able to almost even things up. Oh my god, the perfect bomb tower placing here just yeah. outside of the range of the EQ. Come to say good game. Ruben up about four. I hope we do. As we head into overtime, you win, win, win. This game, oh, Luffy needs to win this game to win the best of three. Through. Ruben needs to win to force that game three, the final game of the set. Yeah, Ruben trying to stay alive, and there's that interaction. It's that you were talking time about. to say goodbye. Kind of X factor in that hog, or the EQ plus the log to take care of the firecracker. Really, no way to take care of the musketeer, and that's a huge hog hit. Moogie knows that that's basically going to be game. Now it's just about spell cycling and controlling the board. There you go. Ice Spirit to pressure Tesla on the board. Just need to get another log, or I mean, another snowball and earthquake in. We're going to game number three. You love to see it. You really do love to see it. I mean, like we talked about, this is probably the most even matchup. I love to see the game three coming out. You know, a lot of the time, I'd say Log has the kind of matchup advantage in that mirror matchup, but Ruben kind of proved me wrong there with the snowball. The snowball on the offense to kind of slow everything down, knock back those goblins, allow for so much connection. Also, snowball on defense. Okay, was like the boss player. Well. Moogie! Yeah. Oh, I. I Masterclass there no. in game number two. Here we go, game number three. We had one couple, the matchup um, on the tornado snowball when used correctly is and lightning, honestly when you see the next matchup between them more mass light and uh, victor yeah that's a good point i feel like snowball is so underrated the directional knockback ability is just so huge a lot of the time ruben yeah, here seen our pros go to it a handful mm, of ruben he was saying a mighty minor World Breaker, um, um, it yeah, it's like Remy Alley deck. And uh, Moogie, Raya Zion. I'm trying to think about the matchup overall. I would say that generally, I would say Moogie has the advantage just because Ruben doesn't really have a big spell. So dealing with that yeah. Mother Witch and the Zabbies can be really tough. Yeah, this deck is a tough one, man. I mean, obviously, there's versions of this deck that have been at the top of the game. And, you know, we've talked decent about it uh, on broadcast about how at World Finals in 2022, the pros were using the... Uh, the Valkyrie version of this deck just because it's like the best way to get ready for big matches is to practice that micro the micro interactions over and over and I, I just don't know about playing this as your kind of like stay alive deck in a matchup against someone like Moogie it, it feels like you're really going to just outplay him the whole time is really the only thing you're banking on um, but I mean this deck is good for a reason we'll see if that he can see if Ruben can do it yeah, we definitely see a lot more minor poison than we do with a minor magic or tornado in CRL. Generally, just kind of going back to one of those things where it's just like this is kind of a ladder deck instead of a competitive deck. Yeah. Just one big mistake could uh, put Ruben in the dust here. Yeah, and right there, you know, something that we've seen a few times today is just that Mother Witch not against a big spell. And how do you deal with her? And how does your opponent abuse that? You know, will he do what Mo did and just start stacking him on the board? Or will she just pop up every now and then to just take Spear Goblins and Wall Breakers off and just create pressure? I think the Ruben, he, the last guy, a Toyo and um, Bob Tower. On the other hand, yeah, Bob Tower, yeah. Fireball, he's going to use that on every single Magic Archer. You actually, the combo, combo with them. Um, with the, yeah, the Mother Catcher really and so you know, they're really, really good and really strong. To just kind of live on the board when I don't think the last guy I wrote is a 5 one. There you go, Magic Archer back in cycle played up high now, that way he doesn't get any Princess Tower damage. Maybe trying to fade out if you want to throw a fireball at the Yes, there we go. <gasps> oh my god, really good position. Mother Catcher still alive and got so much damage, damage, damage. But I'm supposed um i'm supporting from to muji muji i don't want to see the muji move to the loser record royal zygon gets so much damage 
show my damage. What the fuck? Guadal like taking tower. Guadal like taking tower. Oh my god, crazy. That's crazy, this boy. Come to say good Moogie, Mutu, and Rick Brown. Brands like it's the Alliance Fireball. Gigi, Karatris, and Moogie, Moogie. Moogie. Just one of those things, man. That mother which starts getting value, and if you're not.